Hello, I'm Jared, back with more experiments on air pressure. This one's a little more complicated, but the effect is really worth the effort. So I have a bottle. It's a wide mouth bottle that actually is a nice size to set a hard boiled egg on top, but obviously the egg will not fit in. And I want, my goal is to get this hard boiled egg into the bottle. And I could take my hand, press it, and it would smush the egg. If I do it scientifically though, I can get the egg in the bottle. And I'm going to use air pressure. What is pushing right now on top of this egg? Air. Air pressure is pushing on the egg. But I also have air in the bottle, and the air in the bottle is pushing up on the bottom. So I want to use air pressure to get it in the bottle. So I'm just going to take some water, wet the inside of the bottle and the egg, and I have to decrease the amount of air pressure inside this bottle. How do I do that? I'm going to use this piece of newspaper, light it on fire, and the air is going to be heated up inside this. It's going to actually rush out past the egg. If you look carefully at the egg, you'll see it vibrate very quickly. That's going to lower the pressure inside the bottle and hopefully the air would push it in. So let's see this. I'll light the paper on fire, let it catch, drop it in, put the egg on top. It's vibrating. Air is pushing the egg down. Oh, wow. All the air, you can see the air just rushing past the egg. The egg vibrates as the air is rushing past it. We're going to let the smoke clear a little bit. You can see the air pushing that egg down in the bottle. And that egg, let's clear the smoke out, is in the bottle. What I'm going to do is pull the newspaper out. You're going to see it's not fully burned. It's not fully burned. What happened is that heated air rushed past the egg. The, ox the, the fire was also burning up some of the oxygen, some of the air, which decreased the pressure. Now the question is though, how do I get the egg out? Well, I could break the bottle, that would be messy. I could mess up the egg, but or I, could, I could use science. And all I have to do now is reverse the process. I have to increase the pressure inside this bottle so that the pressure inside pushes it out, almost like a chicken laying an egg. How do I do that? I'm going to put my lips on this bottle. I'm going to blow as hard as I can past the egg. The air is going to get trapped behind the egg. It's almost like a little valve in there. And hopefully the pressure behind the egg will push the egg out. Now if I put a little bit of pressure in, the egg will ooze out. If I put a lot, it will shoot out into my mouth. Let's see what happens. Here we go. It's coming out slowly. Let's try that again. So how do I get this out scientifically? I have to push air behind the egg to increase the pressure. Here we go. A mouthful of charred newspaper, but it tastes so good because it's science and that's air pressure. Thanks for watching.